How to use hex code colors, RGB colors, colors with transparency and opacity in Flutter. Simply go to your build method and here within the scaffold body property we create a list view to display multiple widgets under each other. Here inside we create then a colored container with a height of 160 pixels and therefore we also define here a color. And inside of the color you can then supply here the hex code. Therefore simply go to Google and here inside you type color picker. And then you can choose here any color that you like to have within your application. And here you also can then copy the hex code color or you can also click here on this copy symbol. After this go back to your IDE and then paste here this color hex code inside. And lastly you need to replace then here this hashtag with 0 and x. And with these two letters you indicate that the following digits will be passed as hexadecimal. Also you need to define here after 0x two more characters for example ff. And this is the alpha hex value which is basically the opacity of the color. And if you choose here ff then you have 100% opacity for your color. However you can also choose here other letters to have then a different kind of opacity for your color. So for example if you want to have 78% opacity then you take here this value. And now if you hot reload you see you have here still this green color with some opacity. However, if you choose here FF, then you have here this full color without any opacity. Sometimes you also want to define your hexadecimal number as a string instead. And this is what we want to look at right now. Therefore, let's create here a new container with a new color. And here we take this time a new class that we want to create hex color. And here we want to create then a method from hex. Therefore, let's create now this hex color class. And here we have then this from hex method which I have from stack overflow and with this you can then convert a string to a color object. Let's also try this one out. So I select here another color and then I copy here the hex code color. And lastly go back to your IDE and paste then it here inside. And now if I hot reload you see that it is exactly the same color that we have defined before. And we also can now define here it every time as a string. You also could omit here this hashtag if you like and this is then also displaying the color correctly or you can also put here then this alpha value again inside which is our opacity and this works then also correctly. Let's also verify the opacity so I take here again another value and I replace it here with my ff value and now if I hot reload you see that also the opacity is working with this string. Sometimes you want to display a color with an RGB code. Therefore let's choose here another color and then I copy here this RGB code. Back in our IDE we create here a new container and this time we create here a color from this RGB. And here you can simply paste then the color inside. And after it you also need to define here then the opacity level. And if you define here one then it is 100% opacity for this color. And this is then exactly the same color that we have chosen before from the color picker. And with the last value you can always change here easily the opacity of this color. For example you put here 50% inside and then you have here 50% opacity for your color. In case you want to change the opacity of any of these colors easily you also can write here after it with opacity and then you can put here the percentage of this color inside. So in this case 30%. So let's make it for each of these colors 30%. And now if I hot reload you see that all of our colors have here an opacity of 30%. And this even overrides then here the opacity that you have defined before. Because after we have then defined our new opacity. So all in all we have learned how we can display a color from an hex color code or from an RGB color code. Next we want to look at how we also can convert any color back to a hex color. And therefore I go here inside of this build method and here I define then basically this color that we have created before. And then I want to call here a method to hex. And lastly I want to print it then within the console. And now to make this method to hex work you need to go here back to the class hex color. And here inside we create then exactly this method to hex. And this is again the code which I have copied from Stack Overflow. And with this you can then convert any color back to a string representation of your hex code. And lastly to make this work you also need to change here this class to an extension of this color object. So now if I hot reload our color object is converted to an hex code color. And this is then printed here within our console. 
And with this to hex method, we have then converted this color back to a string object. Let's also try it out with another color. So for example, I take here this RGB color and I replace it here with this color. And now if I hot reload, you see that this color is also printed here as an hex code, even if it was not in hex code before as we have defined it. And this method can be really helpful in case you want to convert any of your colors to a string representation. And lastly, to round everything up, you also can create, of course, a container and then you write here colors and then you can write a dot and then you can choose here any color which is predefined by Flutter. So for example, here the red color, green color, pink color or whatever color you like. So let's, for example, take here the color teal. And now if I hot reload, you see here this greenish color. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. And by the way, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm.